Good morning, guys. Lexi Rosado here. I am uh, sitting up on this balcony. I'm currently in Mexico. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a little pool on the deck. And I'm trying to every morning read, spend time with God, journal. Um, yes, I think I missed one day. You always got to be honest, you know? So I haven't been perfect on this vacay, but I'm trying to do it regularly. So this morning in particular, um, as you can see, we're out in like the jungle. There was a bee that landed on this piece of wood. Okay, it landed on the ground and it was on its back and it was just buzz buzzing and buzzing and buzzing, flapping its wings, but it kept spinning on its back. And I was staring at it and I was like, should I help the bee? I don't know, I'm not trying to get stung by a bee. Well, then I was like, okay, if they land on that crack, they'll be able to climb itself up. But as I said that, it did in the crack and it got itself back up. But then I don't know how somehow this bee still managed to flip itself again and was on its back, just spinning, flapping, flapping, flapping frantically. Eventually it got itself together, but it inspired this piece and it really relates to my life too. And I'll explain at the end of the piece. So enjoy. Sorry, it's a low angle because I have my journal right here. <laughs> I'm like a bee that's buzzing and buzzing, frantically flying, trying to stay afleet. I'm a bee that landed on her back, wings underneath, she's fallen, vulnerable for attack. I am a bee still on the ground, not upright, my belly is exposed and my wings on the ground as I flap and I flap, trying to flip off of my back. I keep spinning and spinning, flapping my wings, circling, circling, it's spinning, just me alone and my wings. As I travel back on the ground, wings still underneath, I spin into a crack in the woods. It's enough of a ledge to get back on my feet. So this buzzing bee is finally on her feet, but she falls one more time, a crack she had not seen. Miss Busy Bee lands on her back again. The wings are flapping. She's spinning around in circles. Help me, help me, I need help. Just as she continues to flap her wings, a tribe of others see her, their other bees. These bees pushed her up and got her back, got her off of her back. Where did they come from? She asked and she asked. We have always been here right by your side, but we are waiting for you to ask for help. We are trying to be polite. The busy bee learned a valuable lesson instead of flapping her wings frantically, relying on herself always. She could ask for assistance because if she was willing to ask, others were willing to give it. So, I think self-reliance seems so very appealing because you think nobody can disappoint you. And, you know, if you rely on yourself, then like you don't have to rely on anybody and you can do it on your own. Oh, this whole situation, right, is so applicable to my life right now. As in, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own marketing company and we've had a couple problems recently. But the person who was flapping her wings and falling on her back was me. And so I made calls that weren't perfect. And that's just a part of it, right? And so my team though, instead of me trying to figure it all out, I'm in another country right now on vacation. My team has been like, we were just asking for your, for your clearance to go for it. And so they've always been there. They've always been by my side. I think it's ironic that it was a bee, but it's like a busy bee. I'm a busy bee. I'm trying to be busy and run and go and continue doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. That self-reliance is so appealing until you are on your own, flapping away and still not able to figure it out. But when you have other people that are willing to figure out with you or step up and fix problems, it works. And, I, and I'm probably being too hard on myself. I mean, it was probably some, it was some team errors, right? But I think true leadership is taking responsibility. And I take responsibility. So, what's the point of that piece? I think me as that busy bee learned something very valuable, which is it is so much better to have a team and it's so much better to ask for help than it is to try to figure it out on your own because if you weren't 
doing all the tasks, you'd probably be able to get up. But if you're doing and doing and doing, being a busy, busy, busy bee flapping your wings frantically, then you're literally relying on the little moments you have to like take a breather as a crack right in the wood and get a ledge up and figure it out again. Where if you have a team, it's like, whether I fall, whether I mess up, whether I get it right, they're always having my back and they will help. And so this message I think is for anybody, but even for us entrepreneurs, like you will be better if you increase your team and you will be better if you delegate stuff. So for my leaders, I hope that helps you. But then for those that are a part of my team, this piece was so dedicated to you. And this morning as I was writing, I was just thankful to God for you. And <sighs> I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful that I could learn a valuable lesson and that even a little bee that was flapping its wings on this ground today could inspire a peace. <laughs> I hope that encourages you today. Toodles.